For today's video, we are going to discuss how to find the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. And these are the formulas that you need to remember. The first one, the derivative of arc sine u is equal to u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. The second one is the derivative of arc cosine u is equal to negative u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. Next is the derivative of arc tangent u is equal to u prime over 1 plus u square. And then we have the derivative of arc cosecant u is equal to negative u prime over absolute value of u multiplied by the square root of u square minus 1. And then we have the derivative of arc second u is equal to u prime over absolute value of u multiplied by the square root of u square minus 1. And lastly, we have the derivative of arc cotangent u is equal to negative u prime over 1 plus u square. So these are the formulas that you need to remember in order for us to find the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. So let's start and let's have an example. On number 1, what is the derivative of arc sine 2x? So the derivative of arc sine u is equal to u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. So let us identify first the value of u. So the value of u is 2x. And u prime, that is the derivative of u, which is 2x, and the derivative of 2x is 2. So therefore, to find the derivative of arc sine 2x, all we have to do is to substitute the value of u and u prime. So u prime, that is 2 over square root of 1 minus u, that is 2x. And then square, to simplify, we have 2 over square root of 1 minus 2x squared, that is 4x squared. And this will be our answer. On number 2, what is the derivative of arc cosine x squared? So the derivative of arc cosine u is negative u prime over square root of 1 minus u square. So let us have the value of u, that is x square, and u prime, that is the derivative of x square, and that is 2x. And then let us simplify. We have negative and u prime, that is 2x, over square root of 1 minus u, that is x square, and then raised by 2. So negative times 2x is negative 2x. And then, 1 minus x squared raised to 2, that is x raised to the fourth. And this will be our answer. On number 3, what is the derivative of arc tangent u? So the derivative of arc tangent u, that is u prime over 1 plus u squared. So let us have the value of u, and that is x over 2. And then u prime, that is the derivative of x over 2. And x over 2 can be written as 1 half times x. So if you are going to find the derivative of this one, this will be 1 half. And the derivative of x is 1. So u prime will be 1 half. And then let us substitute this one to the formula. u prime will be 1 half. And then 1 plus u, that is x over 2. And then square. So let us simplify. So let us write 1 half and then 1 plus x over 2 raised to 2, that is x square over 4. So let us simplify. Let us have 1 half and then let us have 4 as the denominator. 4 multiplied by 1, that is 4 plus x square. And then let us multiply this one to simplify our answer. So this will be 1 times 4, that's 4, and then 2 multiplied by 4 plus x square. So we can cancel this one. So 4 becomes 2, and 2 becomes 1. So this will be 4 plus x square, and this will be our answer. And then on number 4, what is the derivative of arc cotangent 3x? 
So the derivative of arc cotangent is negative u prime over 1 plus u square. So let us have the value of u and that's 3x. And u prime, that is the derivative of 3x and that is 3. And to simplify, let us have negative and u prime, that is 3, over 1 plus u square, that is the value of u is 3x, and then square. And to simplify, negative times 3 is negative 3 over 1 plus 3x raised to 2, and that's 9x square. And this will be our answer. On number 5, what is the derivative of arc cosecant x squared plus 5? And the derivative of arc cosecant u, that is negative u prime over absolute value of u times square root of u square minus 1. So let us identify the value of u, and that is x squared plus 5. And u prime, that is the derivative of x squared plus 5. So the derivative of x squared plus 5 will be 2x. And then, let us substitute this one to the formula. So we have negative, and then u prime, that is 2x. And then we have absolute value of u, that is x squared plus 5. And then square root of u, that is x squared plus 5 squared minus 1. And to simplify, let us have negative times 2x is negative 2x. And then let us rewrite the absolute value of x squared plus 5. And then we have x squared plus 5 squared. We have the square root of binomial. So x squared multiplied by itself, that is x raised to the fourth. And x squared times 5, that is 5x squared times the constant 2, that's 10x squared. And then 5 multiplied by itself, that's 25 minus 1. And to simplify, let us have negative 2x over absolute value of x squared plus 5 times square root of x raised to the fourth plus 10x squared plus 24. And this will be our answer. On number 6, what is the derivative of arc second 1 plus x squared? So the derivative of arc second u, that is u prime over absolute value of u times square root of u squared minus 1. So let us identify the value of u, and that's 1 plus x squared. And u prime, that is the derivative of 1 plus x squared, and that is 2x. So let us substitute this one to the formula. So u prime will be 2x. And then u, that's the absolute value of 1 plus x square times square root of u square. So we have 1 plus x square raised to 2, then minus 1. So let us simplify. Let us rewrite 2x. And then let us have absolute value of 1 plus x square. And then, let us simplify this one. So we have a square of binomial. 1 multiplied by itself, that's 1. And 1 times x square, that is x square, times the constant 2. So we have 2x square. And then we have x square times 2 itself, that's x raised to the fourth. And then, minus 1. So let us have here 2x over absolute value of 1 plus x square. And then we can cancel this one. So it will give us 2x square plus x raised to the fourth. So we can factor out x square. So we are going to have 2x over absolute value of 1 plus x square and then let us have x square so let us write first x raised to the fourth divided by x square that is x square and 2x square divided by x square that's 2 so let us have 2x and then absolute value of 1 plus 
x square and the square root of x square that's x and then we have square root of x square plus 2 so we can cancel x and we are going to have 2 over absolute value of 1 plus x square and then square root of x square plus 2 and this will be our answer so I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.